What's up guys, today we're back at the Vice. Gonna tie up one of my favorite grass cart patterns for you guys. Um, probably the number one question I get on Instagram, and uh, Facebook and YouTube is what flies do I use for grass carp? So this one right here is the one I usually recommend because it's super fishy. It's caught me a ton of grass carp and it's one I have a lot of confidence in that it will uh, catch fish you know, in other places. I've sent it to Colorado some dudes, sent it to Florida and I've got a lot of feedback. Okay, so in the Vice I got a TMC 2487 from Tiemco. Um, it's just any emergency style hook will work for you. So it's going to start off with some UTC 140 um, and olive, and I'm just going to start that back behind the eye, probably three or four eye lengths. I'm trying to leave enough room um, for the elk and the everything else going to go on there. You got foam, you got some dubbing, so just make sure you leave some space. I always start my thread back where I transition from my body to my thorax. So just continue wrapping thread back. Some olive marabou goes on next, um, and this is what gives the, the fly some movement when it's sitting on the Sitting on the surface, there's not really anything else going on. It's got a lot of flotation in the head. The body's gonna sink kind of, you know, down. That, that tail's just gonna swim. Pull your thread back to the, uh, towards the bend there. I use the, you know, the marabou off the sides. I kind of save the tips for, you know, tiny streamers or whatever. So just peel off a good section of, you know, marabou, measure that. Um, going with about two, two to three times the hook length. Um, you know, give yourself a little backwards spin on your thread and then just tie that in, pinch that, tie it, and then I keep the uh, keep everything on top and just try to build a little bit of a taper right here. Cut all the, uh, the waste off and then a couple more thread wraps and push the thread back down to the, the bend again. Get some super fine dry fi dubbing. And we'll just uh, you know dub that on kind of light. Doesn't have to be super tight. This is just enough to coat the, the marabou and Add a little bit of a body to it, and like I said, a little bit of a taper. Grass and elk hair. We're gonna stack those, get the tips aligned. Uh, we'll tie those in right back. Make sure you give your your thread a little counterclockwise spin, so it'll jump backwards. And then I'm gonna wrap that, kind of start towards the eye and move backwards. But leave yourself enough room that you're you got to get underneath there when you tie off. So after that, we're gonna grab some white foam, but you can use red or yellow or whatever. This is really just a little bit of flotation and a cider. Um, cut that in, in a triangle so that not much is going on in the front right there where I got to um, go towards the eye. Um, after that, some more dry fly dubbing. And then here's the, uh, this is kind of a mess. You're just going to push back all the, you know, the tips and push them back and just do the best you can. This is not a, it's not a pretty fly. It's just a fishy fly. So, but, you know, right behind the, uh, Behind the foam a little bit, over the, around the eye, and then kind of throw your thread back up on top of that foam one more time. This is where you're gonna pull your your butt ends over the top of your foam and tie those in. So it, it, you know, it's like I said, this is not meant to be a pretty fly. This is not for you know fly shot bends. This is just a this is just a fly that catches fish. So we'll clean it all up later. You don't have to worry about these butt ends. Try not to catch any of your tips when you're bringing that thread over. Get a couple wraps, pull it down. Um, a couple wraps again. Again, we're gonna you know pull the thread back to the front of the, the hook again, and we'll, you know whip finish at the eye. You know this isn't one of those flies that's gonna see a lot of fish. You're hoping for you get six fish off this fly. You're doing pretty good. I mean this 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 fly could fish for a month and might not see seven fish. So whip finish just. Good two or three turns. You know this is this isn't a fly that's going to see a lot of action. You're talking about two or three fish. Out right here, we're just going to clean up everything. Just you know, put all the butt ends out of the way. Again, not a super flashy fly. It's just meant to catch fish, so it doesn't have to be clean. Again, with the foam, you can cut that back a little bit. If it's sitting too high, you want it to sit a little bit lower. You can you can trim it off. And trim it down. You can leave. I usually tie in more foam in the beginning just because I know in the water I can trim. The same thing with the marabou. Tie it a little long. If they're not responding to it and it seems like it's just too big, just go back there and pick some of that, that marabou out and even up your tips. You don't have to. Just because it's two or three uh, hook lengths long doesn't mean it has to stay that way. I, I regularly will pinch that back. If they get to where they're super picky um, and this fly just seems too big, first thing I do is trim that marabou off. Alright guys, so if you liked the video, give it a like. Um, if you want to sub, I appreciate it. i got a lot of stuff coming out on my channel. I've been putting up a lot of content lately, but um, yeah. Hope that catches some fish for you. If it does, you know, and you want to send me a picture, that'd be awesome. I'd share you out on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I always appreciate that. I've been trying to do that when guys are caught fish on some of the patterns I've been using. But that's pretty much all i got, man. Um, like I said, 
super fishy fly, catches a ton of grass carp for me. So tie some up for yourself and you know, let me know how it does for you. Thanks for watching guys.